Hey y'all, I'm gonna live react to Noel Petsa episode 10 from the minute mark because I skipped the op openings and I'm gonna start this live reaction in one, zero, go. Or at least when I can skip them, in case y'all wondering. Alright, let's see if we're gonna get the school episode. That she actually promised because she did say, I'll go to school. Well, you know what? Sh I don't mind this. Actually, her going shopping is a nice change of pace, too. Huh? That is interesting. It's like all empty and stuff. Hmm. At least she got her ice cream, though. But then again, it did. It was glitchy in like the other episodes, so maybe this is like a virtual world. Dang. Oh! Dang, she should look up a different fried rice recipe because that shit looks nasty. <laughs> and maybe nutritious, but it looks nasty as fuck. Yo, this is one of those, it's all a dream. I'm gonna kind of be pissed because that means they'll make all the tension kind of false tension and I'll make all the character development pointless if this is all a dream. Yeah, everything's kind of looking weird now. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, this suddenly became an isekai. That'd be kind of funny. Alright, at least it's reassuring though. Yeah, but it doesn't explain what happened to everyone else though. Dang, I actually wanted to see this school because they've been hyping that up for can't remember how long. For actually no, for quite a while. Hmm. <laughs> okay, now it's getting philosophical on us. Alright, alright, I kinda kinda like the little joke. I wonder if it's, imagine if it's the actual big sister. That'd be crazy. Oh wait. Hmm. 
Whoa. Whoa. The way it comes off the... Well, for a second I thought something might have happened to Peta, but okay, she just took off the cover portion of her costume. Um, I gotta say, this episode, it was alright. I mean, there was, a, there was a much saying like the way of character progression. And I'm kind of disappointed because they've been talking about the school. Peta's been like, jamming in, alright, you know, go to school, go to school. And then right when they finally have the perfect opportunity to go to school, they just throw this stuff at us. It's like... It's kind of feeling like no better. Episode 9 was its high point. It set itself up so perfectly that then just seeing this, where it's just meandering like this randomly, it's like... Really? You've been building up that Noel's been shy. You've been setting up a character arc so that she can face that fear. And then you fucking go into this random ass plot point, plot point where there's no one in the fucking city. And we're gonna deal with this shit instead of having to deal with um, Noel's shyness and seeing her tackle it head on. That's kind of what disappoints me about Noel Peta episode 10, you know? I expected more. Especially going on all, in, all into this episode. So that's why. At least for Noel Peta episode 10, I'm gonna rate it, honestly, a 4 out of 10 because I thought it was below average. It didn't do enough for me to get a 5 out of 10, which is at least average in my school because it's like, come on, man, are we really going through this shit right now? Because there was no comedy, and while it's semi intriguing, I just feel like. How the hell we're gonna have enough time for the other stuff? Cause just think about it. They're gonna have to resolve this shit in episode eleven, maybe even twelve, and then after that it's like, so are they gonna have anything left for the school or not? Because okay, today's the sixth. Tomorrow, I mean, next week is the thirteenth for eleven. Twenty. I, the only way I can see this is if it like. See this plot line that's ending is if it could like maybe have a super condensed school episode near the very end if it can get itself 13 episodes, but that's like the only way I could see it kind of redeeming itself, at least for the finishing line. But yeah, y'all, these are my honest thoughts. But let me preface this. If it gives us the school episode in like its final run, and it does it successfully with her uh, first kind of being nervous and then slowly tackling her fears, then I'm going to switch my script from this episode from a 4 out of 10 to a 5 out of 10 to average. But that's only if it does that. If not, it's going to stick with 4 out of 10, at least for this specific episode in my skill. But as for other things, I thought the animation art was actually pretty good in some instances and all that kind of jazz. So anyways, y'all. These are my thoughts on Noel Peta episode 10. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on how you felt about my reaction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Rate the video, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. And if y'all wondering why this episode kind of set me off, it's because I've seen so many anime slip throats its ending where they go on a fucking tangent and then when it goes into its finishing line, it either skips what they built towards or just gives like a quick montage. That's why this episode kind of set me off because it's having the warning signs that I've seen other animes of a similar nature fall into the trappings of. It kind of reminds me of when um, Amazing Stranger did the same shit too where it just introduced a fucking new plot point out of nowhere that was fucking unnecessary. Then for its finale, it just fucking rushed the fuck out of shit. Or Hachigatsu Cinderella 9 where towards the end of the episode they were focusing about this fucking ghost and then when it came towards the matchup where our main crew loses it was fucking off screen and then their first win before they go into the round where they lose it was off screen that's why this episode kind of pissed me off because I've seen even full length anime do the same shit 
and their endings are just fucking trash. It, it, I'm already seeing the warning signs. But anyways, y'all, that's just that's just my reason why I didn't like this episode. Right, well, anyways, thank you for watching my rambling. Have a good and safe day. And hopefully the next episode is good because I legitimately have enjoyed this series. All right, bye-bye, y'all.